It's Thursday, we're back here at Springfield, once again joined by Gary Freeman, thanks for joining us. Uh, last game we saw at uh, Springfield was an action-packed game, certainly different from the usual. How do you think the players coped with such uh, an intense game? Um, the players were fine, uh, apart from the two that got sent off. I think um, on a whole, as a group, they were fantastic. Cup games are a little different, so there was a lot of excitement around the game and the way the game panned out, um, became very end-to-end. -end. One of the most eventful games we've had since I've been in, since we've been going really yeah no I think it was a great spectacle so brilliant that we came out of it on the right side um, finishing with nine men. Was everything okay after the game because obviously you're applying extra pressure to those nine to, to perform that little bit extra? Yeah no they were all fine they've all trained they trained fine tonight so we've got nothing on that I just have to say I thought the crowd on Saturday made up for the players getting sent off I thought you know when we went to 10 first off the, the bullpen was fantastic but as it went to nine I think the whole crowd got behind us in the stand and really raised the atmosphere and the players responded and, and battled through and uh, great to see Adam snatch it at the end. Yeah, no, great result. And uh, well, we look forward to coming back to cheer on the players again against Frimley Green on Saturday. Is this another game of can't miss football? Yeah, I'd like to think the excitement from Saturday we can take on. You know, we're very conscious that we are in the entertainment business, if you like. We want people to come down and enjoy themselves. And from the feedback we got from Saturday was everyone did. Um, Hopefully, yeah, the, the aim for us on Saturday again is to be entertaining, go score goals, go and take chances, go and attack teams. And hopefully Frimley will have the same mindset. It'll be another great day. Yeah, and then also following the game on Saturday, we've got two games on Tuesday night. Um, one, again, one in the Suburban League Cup and one in the Premier Challenge Cup. Is that a challenge to try field two teams in one night? Yes, yeah, if I'm honest, it's a real challenge. Um, to ask us to take, you know, 30 players away on a Tuesday night, um, credit to our players because um, you know we're going to have two strong squads going out the 23s team looks really balanced and the senior team will try and mix it a little bit with players who are training well so no looking forward to it again but it is a challenge for us all but um, yeah we'll take it on well one other thing you can potentially take on this Saturday we've got a Halloween costume challenge and the winner of the best dressed gets a signed Jersey Bull shirt have you ever gone in anything special in Halloween and if so what is your go-to and will you be wearing it on Saturday <laughs> Um, I don't think I'll be wearing it on Saturday. I, I think Jake Prince, after um, the start of tonight's training, might be uh, might be favourite to go into that. Um, it's been done in the past. I think Uncle Fest has come out in the past, so we've got that resemblance. So, yeah, hopefully not for me, but it'd be good to see a few of the supporters in it. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Well, we're looking forward to a spectacular fest, <laughs> and uh, we hope to see you perform well on Saturday. Let's hope so. Thanks, Gary. Cheers.